Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's what's the deal, man? You know, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Uh, therefore, I know I'm not doing this for nothing. Um, hopefully, y'all had a good weekend, whatever the case may be. Uh, I, I I wasn't gonna record this morning, but I got like one or two officials. As of right now, you know what I'm saying. I just want to bring those to you guys and uh, a bunch of leans. But I'm gonna let you know my officials and things like that. And favorite same game parlay spots and yada yada yada. If you're new to this channel, I talk about uh prize picks, I talk about bets, same game parlays, things of that nature. Okay. Right? Uh this is all free information here. If you want to support my channel, hey, two ninety nine a month, it's a coffee, whatever the case may be. Uh so that's a good way to support my channel if you you know, if I bring some value to you guys, all right? So let's get right into it. Uh, don't want to make this video too long. Let's talk about this Indiana Pacers and Detroit game. We have a 226 over under in this spot. And, man, you know, I start smiling when I talk about this game because I love to decipher through injuries and et cetera, all right? So same injury situation that we did, we're did dealing with last last game, and I could have smashed them last game. Man, I, everything was green for me. Uh, I did, you know, I targeted this game, uh, you know, live bet, you know, everything I, I, I everything that I, you know, uh, brought to you guys, you know, everything panned out, you know, except – Marvin Bagley getting hurt, man. But I made it up on the back end. Like I said, uh, I talked about guys like um, um, Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith came in, and he had 20 points and nine rebounds uh, in a hurry in 25 minutes off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Duran, he came in and did his things. We already know he was self-explanatory. Um, I was a little bit, um, you know, I'm disappointed. Jordan Award, he only played 16 minutes, but he did have 11 points in that time span. He went four for nine. Maybe they didn't want him to, you know, score too much. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah Jackson, wonderful play. I, he was a wonderful play. Uh, 19 points, 11 rebounds. He had the double-double there. Seven for 10, efficient. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, you know, these are the guys that get you over the hump. Now, Chris Duarte, uh, I took him in one. Uh, I did like three same game parlays for this one. All of them lost on account of um, on account of Marvin Bagley. But uh, Chris Duarte, he had a bad shooting game. He played thirty three minutes, six points, two for eleven, one for six for for three. I don't I don't expect that to happen again. But everybody who I'm talking about right now, these guys are be will be in play today. Okay, so this is a brief rundown of the same game parlays and things of that nature. Here's the thing. Um, and uh, two things that are different from last game. Like I said, Marvin Bagley is out, and then um, uh, Buddy Hill is questionable. Okay, so if Buddy Hill misses, then um, I mean Jordan Award. I mean he, he's a scorer, guys. He's a scorer, man. So I don't know, man. If he steps into that starting lineup, man, you know, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know. I'll be I'll be I'll be all over. You guys know this. So here's the thing. Isaiah Livers, all right, it's gonna end up being a f official play for me. Um, I don't know how I want to attack it. He's not the big rebounding type of guy, but he played 38 minutes in the absence of Bagley. The shot attempts, the shot volume should be there. He took uh, he took uh, 20 shots. Three and half of them were threes. He, he he shot three for ten for three. Okay, his point prop is sitting at uh, thirteen and a half. Oh, thirteen and a half at minus one twenty right now. I like it. You know, anytime you take a twenty shots and you know, even if you take fifteen shots and, you, and your point prop is at thirteen and a half, I, I, I got to I got to take it to take a stab at it. All right, uh, he hit it last game. Uh, he hit it two. Twice out of his last five games, you know, so uh, he's taking double-digit shot attempts in three of his last four. I'm, you know, I'm confident, you know, he's going to take extra uh, of shot attempts here, okay? James Wyans, Wiseman, Killian Hayes, is they, they, they're definitely in play. Uh, Wiseman points to rebounds. Killian Hayes at least assists for Killian Hayes, but we'll see. We'll see, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you can look at uh, Isaiah Liver for threes. Uh, uh, he hit three threes or better. And uh, three of his last four games, his three-point prop, let's see what his three-point prop is sitting at, uh, two and a half at minus 108. I like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you take 10 threes, 
you know, it is what it is. Now, um, I was looking on prize picks for the, uh, for the, uh, I was looking on prize picks for the, um, turnover prop for Killian Hayes, and I just don't see it. However, on prize on on on, on DraftKings, you can get a turn, you can get a, a turn, a three turn, two and a half turnovers for Killian Hayes because he's gonna be he's gonna be running the, running the show a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, outside of guys like uh, Corey Joseph who can handle the ball, but you know, Killian Hayes is gonna be doing all the work. So. Uh, two and a half uh, um, um, turnovers is not a minimum possibility for him. Uh, I think he had five turnover, turnovers last game, okay? Let's see. Yeah, five turnovers last game. He played 37 minutes. He played 19 minutes versus Charlotte and two turnovers. He's averaging 2.1 turnovers. I think he could get us three. It's a parlay piece. I think he could get us three. And same with Isaiah Livers. He's averaging a half a turnover per game. But if you give him 30 to 30, 35 minutes, he might go out there and give your ass a turnover as well. <laughs> it's just, you know, is what it is. So, uh, honorable mention, um, like I say, um, Corey Joseph. Uh, he played 27 to 24 minutes. Corey Joseph had double-digit uh, points uh, in four straight games, okay? 12, 17, 11, and 14, all right? So a lot to like there. Um, I'm just going to have to go out on a limb and say this is an official play, uh, over 13 and a half for uh, Isaiah Livers, and I couldn't talk you off of his, his three-point prop, okay? So, you know, either one. It's pick your poise. And then fans on on, on um prize picks, I'm gonna like his fantasy score. I mean, minutes equal opportunity. So uh uh, you know, I'll probably play the fantasy score over here on prize picks. I I, was, I, I spent a lot of time on this game because this is an important game. You know, it, it's very it's a very important game to me. Uh, where, where value can be had, uh Wiseman's and Killian Hayes and yada yada yada. Value can, can, can be had in this game here. Um, we don't have the Indiana guys up there waiting on, <clears throat> they waiting on Buddy Hill news, okay? Because, you know, um, guys uh, like um, Nimhart, you know, these guys are uh, definitely in play, all right? So let's keep it moving. Um, next play I want to talk about is if we get, uh, if we get, uh, you got to be quick, okay? If we get, um, Um, if we get Rudy Gobert root out in this one, then you can look at the rebounds and assists for uh Cal Cal Anderson, okay? And then um, all, all we all know we can pivot to uh Isaiah. I mean, not Isaiah Stewart, but we know we can pivot to uh, um what is his name? Oh yeah, Nas Reed. Okay, he'll get the nod there, starting starting spot. Um, points wise, I couldn't talk you off of Trey Young points. I like the matchup for Trey Young, and you know, well, I wouldn't. Dejounte Murray hasn't been shooting the ball well. Uh right? he's been getting a ton of shots, but he hasn't been hitting his point prop. So you know, that's one guy that you could look at as well. Um, assist prop always in play for somebody like um. Uh, Trey Young, okay? Next game on the docket, we we, we want, I want to talk about is this Memphis Grizzlies and Dallas Mavericks game here. Got to see what the uh, injury news is for um, Kyrie Irving, if he's going to be in or out. So that's something that you can look at there. Um, but points-wise, I mean, uh, guys like Xavier Tillman, uh, his points probably sitting at ten and a half. Uh, I'm going over ten and a half. It's just an official play for me. Uh, you know, I've been I've been rocking with him. He's not the highest usage player, but uh, trust and believe. Um, you know, uh, this Dallas team that you know they they haven't been pretty good. You know, versus Bigs. Um, he's hit this number in uh, four of his last five games, including uh, versus Dallas. Um, minutes kind of went. You know, they kind of fluctuating right now. Uh, 28 minutes last game versus Dallas, 22 minutes versus uh, Gold State Warriors, 32, 34, and 30. Would love to see him in that 30, uh, uh, 30 minutes range there. And I couldn't talk you off his rebound prop. Uh, They're going to slide it up there probably at uh, eight and a half, though. So that hook is really, really dangerous. 
Um, he's had eight rebounds or better in uh, four of his last five games. And back-to-back games, he had eight rebounds. You guys know I like peripherals. Even if you want to look at his points and uh, – you could look at his points and rebounds, which would probably come out to be about 19. That's something that you could look at there. Let's see. Uh, points and rebounds. Points and assists, points and – or you could look at his points and assists too. He's got two assists uh, or more in um, 12 of his last 15 games and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, uh, games straight, okay? So he's got uh, two assists or better and nine games straight. His uh, two ass- uh, his points and assists prop sitting at 13 and a half. Uh, his r- rebounds and assists prop is sitting at 10 and a half. He's had eight in rebounds in um, four, uh, four of his last five games. And then his points, and that's what I'm looking at, his points and rebounds, sitting at 19 and a half. So I couldn't talk to you off none of that. I just like him. And then that translates over to PRAs and fantasy score as well, where he's averaging a half a block, but he's had a block at two of his last three games. And he's got a, he's averaging a, a whole steal, all right? So he's got um, – a steal or better in four straight games. And one of those games, he has four uh, steals, okay? So he's shown the ability to get steals and things of that nature. So uh, fantasy score, I don't know if his fantasy score is out. Let's see. Uh, 26 and a half uh, for, on prize picks. And he's averaging um, 17 and, uh, well, uh, 16 and a half. But uh, he's hit this number in um, one, two, three. Uh, four of his last five games, okay? So I couldn't talk you off of that for him. Tyus Jones couldn't talk you off his fantasy score or uh, uh, assist prop. Uh, Desmond Bain fantasy scores and prop. It's just a lot. All right, this Dallas, this Dallas Mavericks team is out there playing small. I do want to see if uh, Kyrie Irving is playing, okay? Um, Austin Celtics at Houston Rockets, man. 231 and a half over under. And, you know, uh, this, this this Houston Rockets give, team give it up everywhere everywhere uh beyond the arc whatever the case may be so i'm looking at the three ball here all right i'm also i'm I'm looking at everybody man i don't have a definite prop for this one but i'm gonna do a three-point parlay okay i'm gonna end i'm taking Jalen brown over two and a half threes this is a get right spot for somebody like him or for any player uh it's a get right spot for any player uh especially from behind the arc uh he has been ailing from behind the arc he has uh he went four games uh, uh straight uh without hitting three threes, okay? Uh Jason Tatum, three and a half threes, definitely in play. Marcus Smart, um, all his numbers are in play. Uh they are the worst. Uh, this is the worst team versus point guards. They give up the most everything to the point guards. So I'm looking at Marcus Smart points. Strong lean to the over here. 11 and a half at minus 115. Couldn't talk you off his points and assist combo. So I, I don't know which way I want to take it. All right. Another guy who's a ball handler is Derek White. Derek White, he's in the same conversation if you want to look at, uh, you know, attacking these guys from the point guard, shooting guard position. Uh, so it's a lot of plays that's in play. I, um, I don't know which one I want to make official, though. Is it the uh, points and uh, maybe PRAs for – Marcus Smart at 20 and a half. PRA is at for Marcus Smart at 20 and a half in this matchup for, versus a team who gives up the uh, most points to the point guard position, uh, most uh, most uh, assists to the point guard position, and, you know, the most threes to the point guard position, uh, the most steals. That could, that, all that's going to go to his fantasy score. I want to see what his fantasy score is. Um Houston giving up blocks and fancy points. He's giving up the most fancy points to the point guard position. So, you know, what is this fancy score sitting at here? I'm going to end up taking this fancy score. Point six and a half. I'm right off the back. I just think that's low. So I'm definitely going to get there. All right. Uh, 26 and a half fantasy score and all his numbers on the books, PRAs, whatever the case may be, those are in play. If you ask me, uh, here's a guy that's going to be out there minutes, equal opportunity, uh, in this matchup. So, or I probably would just opt in for his points and I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, he's had double digit uh, points. Uh, in uh, 13 of his last 15 games in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games straight. Couldn't talk you off neither one of his numbers there. You want to get to his assist, get to his assist, okay? 
it's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I haven't really looked into deep dived into a lot of these extra, a lot of these games here. This Phoenix Suns and this Golden State Warriors games. I know that Phoenix, I know that Curry Curry should be in a good spot no matter how as long as Chris Paul is going to be on the floor. Uh, I just think uh, yeah he's going to have to deal with uh, Curry. So uh, Curry's numbers are in play. I'll be looking for the three ball for him over four and a half threes. If that's where it's at, I couldn't talk you off of that. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, so over four and a half threes for uh, Stephen Curry. I like the number there. I like that number there. Um, and Milwaukee Bucks and Sacramento Kings. We need to see what the uh, injury news is going to be like for uh, uh, ABC. Uh, this Milwaukee team does play defense. Um, man, if ABC is in, then... I ain't even gonna lie. It's gonna be Milwaukee Bucks for me. I right? it on the road. You know what I'm saying? Just I, I'm 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 gonna lay my hat. I'm gonna lay my hat on their defense. I'm, and uh, six and a half assists for uh, Drew Holiday in this matchup against uh, uh, Sacramento Kings, who team Kings team who doesn't play the best defense. You know, I, it's a strong lean for me. Okay, it's gonna be a strong lean because Middleton he goes out there and drops dimes too. Okay, if Middleton wasn't be playing, I'd probably take Drew Holiday for a double double right here. I just like the spot for him. Okay, um, so it's just a wait and see approach for me. Uh, let's see what you holiday fancy score is at. Interesting thing to point out there. 37 and a half for Drew Holiday. Uh, let's see. Hmm. One, two, three, or five. Is this number three or five? I'm I'm gonna be interested in that. I'm probably gonna be interested in that. Go see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh we'll see if uh ABC is in. Because like I said, uh the strongest lane for me right now is the over six and a half assists. He's hit this number in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of his last thirteen games. All right. So I could never talk you off the six and a half assists. Uh, whatever his assist prop is over here on prize picks. Let's see what it is before I get out of here. Um, seven on the head. And it means you got to get eight to cash. All right. All right, guys. Peace out, guys. Uh, good luck for this day, Monday. Peace.